Okay, it's that time of year again. Time to put up the Christmas decorations. On this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the flagpole Christmas tree. And um, I'm gonna use my existing flagpole. I ordered the bundle off jaddyco.com and I got a set of four string lights and the topper. So to install the topper, we're just gonna get the finial off of our flagpole, slide the shaft through the topper, and we're gonna screw it down to the top of the flagpole. Um, and then we're ready to install our lights. And to tell you a little bit about the lights we're gonna be installing, they're the LED string lights I got on Jadico. I used these last year and this is one set. It comes with four sets. This is your female end. This is your male end. So whenever you hear me reference male and female, you'll know male and female. Okay. Your kit's gonna come with four controllers. You have four controllers that come with kit. It has eight modes. You only need one of the controllers. So you can discard the other three or you can save them in case one goes out. That's the benefit of this uh, kit is that you can replace one strand at a time if you need to. You can add more different colors or whatever you need. So anyways, let's go get to work and install this flagpole Christmas tree kit. All right, so let's get started. First, I like to determine the center of my lights. With this topper, you don't have to be perfect as the strands freely move around the horns, which makes it easy to center up at the end. I like to use one controller for all four strands in order for everything to be neat and clean. I daisy chain all four strands together, keeping the male end in my right and the female end in my left hand, while hanging the strands over the horn of the topper. Now that I've connected all the lights together, it's time to lift the pole. I always recommend plugging in your lights before lifting, just to make sure everything is uh, working and looking good. I use a six and a half foot pole to space my lights from the flagpole. I also like to stake my lights in at a 45 degree angle with the bottom part of the stake towards the flagpole. This helps the lights to prevent from tearing out during storms and high wind. The lights draped over the horns also give some movement during winds, which helps prevent damaging your wires. Now that everything's secured to the ground, it's time to wrap the base of this tree. And then we're gonna get it plugged in and the only thing left to do is wait for it to get dark. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. And if you did, please give me a like, subscribe, and uh, be on the lookout for some future builds. As this was an eight strand build, my next strand will be double this. So we'll have a 16 strand. Thank you guys, and have a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year.